It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Our Lord and Savior Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. By the making of this film, it is not our desire to prove to you God's existence by facts and human reasoning. Only you as an individual may choose to seek God for yourself and His Spirit will bear witness with your spirit in an undeniable and powerful way. The proof is in Jesus and His Word. He said, My doctrine is not mine, but His that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. God is light. God is love. God is a spirit and God is holy or separate. Jesus suffered the wrath of our holy creator for the sins which we have committed. Furthermore, God's word says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that does not believe is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in God. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If the Son of Man shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And you reveal your ignorance of the Jesus of the records that are available. If you try to stamp on him. Oh, there you tried in the early days of liberalism and wrote a book about the 16 crucified saviors of history. None of them came out of a tomb with evidence. Let's just take the resurrection of Jesus, for example, and people just sort of throw this around. They'll say, well, we have uh, gods and goddesses in the ancient world who were raised from the dead, don't we? And you say, you, you have to be specific and say, well, whom do you have in mind? And what's the, the gap? Because except for Isis and Osiris, which as one scholar pointed out, as many scholars have pointed out, is not really in a resurrection account at all. We have no ancient story which predates the resurrection of Jesus. The earliest mystery gods we have who supposedly, who were taught to have been raised from the dead, again in mythology, not actual historical persons. But they post-take Christianity by a hundred years. The next closest example is two hundred years. But what you have here is, you don't have these parallels. Every kind of theory has been presented to explain these facts. One, disciples stole the body. Two, the Roman leaders, Romans, took it. Three, Jewish leaders took it. Four, they went to the wrong tomb. Five, hallucinations. Six, resuscitation. He was considered dead, but he, in the coolness of the tomb, revived. Seven, the whole thing's a lie. Jews took it, they put it back. Facing this preaching, Romans took it. They had enough power to go to him. Even a member of the Sanhedrin, Joseph of Arimathea, got the body, put it in a royal type tomb. Doesn't make sense. Wrong tomb, go to the right one. Hallucinations, anybody with any psychological knowledge at all? There's a whole book there that breaks that apart. You don't have hallucinations with above 500 people at once. You don't have diverse people, single individuals having the same hallucinations. But go to the tomb. Go ahead and have your hallucinations. Here, take a walk with me. We're going to the known tomb, and it's empty. And it staggers probability that somebody would steal the body, 
Same time, the hallucinations are coming down. Resuscitation? You don't resuscitate from a Roman crucifixion. Eight, they told as honest people what they honestly experienced and what they believed to be true. A lie can change someone, but not uniformly for the better. There's only two. Each one of these steps prove most people don't want to face the possibility of the supernatural. Their view is it can't happen, therefore it didn't happen. Therefore anyone who says it did, it's just either gullible, simple-minded, or a continuation of a fraud. It can't happen, therefore it didn't happen, therefore anybody that says it did happen isn't worth listening to because it can't happen. That's arguing in a circle. You made up your mind before you started. Let's just do a study for a moment, a comparative religion class. Let's compare a few things. Let's say that you're a, a reporter and, and there is an Orthodox Jew standing here, there's a Muslim standing here, and a real Christian standing here. I have to say real Christian because everybody in America thinks they're Christian. A real one. So the reporter comes up to the, the Orthodox Jew and says, Sir, if you died right now, where would you go? And the Orthodox Jew says, Well, I'd go to paradise. Why? Well, I love the law of God. I study the law of God. I meditate upon the law of God. I am obedient to the law of God. Okay? Makes sense. Comes to the Muslim. Sir, if you died right now, where would you go? So I'd go to heaven. Why? Well, I love the Quran. And I obey the Quran and I am a righteous man and I've made the pilgrimages and I've given alms to the poor and I've done this and that I am a righteous man the reporter goes okay makes sense to me comes to the Christian sir if you died right now where would you go to heaven to paradise well why in sin did my mother conceive me and in sin was I brought forth I have broken every law that God has ever given. I deserve the very depths of... And right there, the reporter stops and says, Sir, now you're confusing me. The other two guys, I understand. I ask them where are they going. They say they're going to heaven. And they're right with God. And I ask them why. Because they are righteous men in themselves. They have virtue. They have merit. So they're going to heaven. Sir, I come to you and you declare with a smile on your face that you're going to heaven. And yet... You claim to have no virtue, personal virtue, or personal merit before God. How are you going to heaven? And the Christian says, I am going to heaven based upon the virtue and the merit of another. Jesus Christ, my Lord. Nothing in my hands I bring. Now, I need to step back for a moment. A true Christian will hear that, all of grace, and say, Oh, how I want to be holy and how I want to keep His law. A religious, carnal, Southern Baptist church member will hear that and go, that's a good deal. Let's just keep living in sin so grace may abound. The philosophy, if you want to call it, of this book is contrary to everything the world has. All its standards, all its values, all its goals. They're totally wrecked when you put them under the microscope of the Word of God. And the whole thing about the success of the Holy Spirit is getting the witness of the Spirit that there's no condemnation in my life, that guilt has been removed, that I can walk triumphant in His name, that I can be like Him in this present evil world. You have to choose. Why not? The Jewish leaders did. They said He blasphemed choose. He changed, my he changed my nature. Every man that's falling in hell at the final judgment will wish he'd lived a pure life, wish he'd lived a holy life, wish he'd lived an obedient life. And it's a bit too late when the final curtain begins to fall. It pleased the Lord, it pleased Yahweh, according to Isaiah 53.10, it pleased Yahweh to crush Him. It doesn't mean he got joy out of it. It means the purposes of God were uniquely and completely fulfilled.